Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Have you ever worked on any project where you had to work with tables? And talking about tables, you actually had a lot of information or data that you needed to include or embed in your WYSIWYG Web Builder project. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at how to import data from Excel. Yes, you can actually import data from Excel into your table in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So let's take a look at how to do that. First of all, I'm going to go to the two box and then I'm going to look for the table um, to so I'll click on table and then I'm going to draw in here. So this is going to allow me to specify the number of rows and columns that I want to. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to specify um, one row and then I'm going to specify three columns. So that is what I'm going to do for this particular table and then I'll go ahead and then click on OK. So this gives me three columns and then just one row. And um, I want to be able to have some kind of information. So let's say about 20 particular rows and each or column of this particular table that I have in here. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead to open Excel to populate that in my Excel sheet. And then I'll see or we take a look at how we can go ahead and then um, import the information into our Wizard Web Builder um, table. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in some random figures here and then I'm going to just um, go ahead to populate uh, let's say because I want a lot of information so let me just go ahead and then populate this to about this particular position let me just fill series so that it gives me different figures uh, since I'm working with three columns I'm going to go ahead to make this three columns as well so let me just make this 20 and then um, I'll go ahead and then expand this um, to the very bottom to give me um, something different for that section as well and then I'm going to do that um, for the last one as well. So let me just make this 10A. And then I go ahead to take that to the very bottom as well. Let me just end that here. And then let me just um, let me just keep this um, as it is here. I think this is okay since this is just a sample work. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm supposed to save this particular Excel sheet that I have. But talking about saving, you don't just save it in the normal Excel format, you have to save it in a CSV format. So let's take a look at how to go about that. So I'll click on file and then I'm going to go to save us. Now the save us, I have a um, chance of specifying location where I want to save this particular um, project. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead to, let me just select this PC and then let me select, um, let me go ahead and then select documents. I'm just going to select documents at this section, my left hand side here. And then when I click on save as type, I can select CSV using the comma um, delimited what I have in here. That's the particular for fa format I would want to save it as. Another way you could also go about saving this is you could just come here and select save as. Uh, let me just go to, let me just come back here, go to file, go to save as, and then you specify the location right away from here. And then you go ahead to save it. So let me just go back to the previous one, just using this one, going back to my document. And then I'm going to save this as book one. So I'm going to select CSV comma delimited, and then I'll go ahead and then select save. So I have saved this particular data. One important aspect you have to note is that after you finish saving your um, Excel sheet, you have to go ahead to close it to be able to import it into your Wizard of the um, table you have in here. So that's what I've done. I have closed my Excel sheet. What I'm going to do next is to import this. I'm going to right click on my table in here. And when you go to the options at the very bottom, you have import. Now when I click on import, this is going to ask me to specify the location of the file, Excel file that I want to import into my project. So I'm going to go ahead to select or specify the location. So this is my document and then we have book one here. So I'm going to go ahead to select this. And as you can see, we have our table, which has been populated with the information we have in our Excel sheet. This becomes very useful when, like I was saying earlier, you have a lot of information that you have to populate into your Visual Web Builder table and um, looking at going to go about it manually, that's going to be a lot of process or that's going to take a lot of time. And the good thing is that you can also make your table responsive. So if you right click on your table, you can go to this say table properties 
and then you have an option here that says enable responsive font now this is going to make your table respond very well on mobile devices or any breakpoints that you create also you can go ahead to select the size mode what i mostly find myself doing is using automatic based on content since you can't really predict the size of content that you may be having within the cells of your table so that is how you can import table or um, you can import data from excel into your wizard builder project thank you very much for watching bye for now